learning to analyse your photos helps you to improve your photography skills. When you learn to see your strengths and weaknesses in your photographs, you can learn to improve on what you do well and stop making those same mistakes over and over again. But if you're not looking at your photographs with an analytical eye, yeah, you'll be prone to not improving so fast and to keep making those same old mistakes. Composition is one of the main aspects to look at when analysing your photos. Look at what works and what doesn't work in a composition. Think about things like how well you've used and applied a particular compositional rule if this is what you're doing. Does the rule of thirds apply or did you just use it because it's a nice composition rule? Often, if you just try and apply a rule without really thinking about how it works properly in a photograph, it's not going to be so effective. How about the use of lines in photographs? How well do you do that? Are the lines complete in your photo or are they cut off? Does this help or hinder the composition? A frame within a frame is another popular rule of composition that is sometimes not used as well as it could be. When you've applied this rule, look at your photographs and see if it really works the way you wanted it to or if you could improve on it the next time. Analyzing your photo to see how well you've framed your subject within a frame can help you see if it worked well that time or what you could do to make better use of the same technique next time you find a frame to put your subject in. Negative space within an image must also be considered when you analyse a photograph. Does the space work to enhance your subject or does it make the image somewhat unbalanced and odd looking? You've got to make sure when you use negative space that it's very intentional and works to enhance and improve the photograph. And analysing an image based on only the objects or elements in the image and not considering the negative space is going to miss out on a lot of potential. You must think about the elements, the objects in an image, the people if there are any, and how these things relate to the negative space. You must determine the relationship between these things. And when you can consider this, when you can see if there is a symmetry, if there's a connection, if there's a, a relationship between these things, then it will either help you to see whether it's worked or whether maybe there is some need for improvement. But if you're not looking carefully at the photos you've already made, you could just make the same mistake over and again and not really understand why you're not so happy with your photograph. It's also important to look at your photographs and analyse how good your timing was. Did you take the photograph at the best moment? Or would it have been better to wait a little bit longer or have pressed the shutter button earlier than you did? Timing makes the most difference in action photos where there's some movement in the picture, but even in photographs where there can be no movement. For example, timing a sunset photograph is vital. It's not a matter of a split second, but it can be a matter of waiting a little bit longer just to see whether that colour in the sky gets more intense as the sun sets deeper beyond the horizon. And even at other times of the day, you often have to wait for the right moment when the light is just perfect to take the best photograph. Thinking about your photos and how to best analyse them will help you to be a better photographer. You don't need to be too hard on yourself though, but having an objective perspective on the photographs that you've taken can help you be a better photographer. It's a healthy exercise to do, to sit down and look through a series of photos that you've taken and really just see where you can improve and where you can actually stop doing certain things that are not helping your pictures. I hope you found some interesting and helpful tips in this video. If you have, please give us a like. And if you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date when we release new videos. Thanks for watching.